The Republican and Democratic National Committees are already raising millions, preparing for an expected flurry of litigation and potential recounts after Election Day. And while Vice President Kamala Harris and the DNC have outraced Republicans this election cycle, the GOP is so far investing more cash in what happens after the polls have closed. Federal filings show the RNC had raised $90 million for its recount account through September 30th, as compared to only $14.3 million raised by the DNC through October 16th, even as the DNC has raised more money overall, taking in $538.8 million to the RNC's $390.2 million. Both parties are preparing massive legal operations to file and respond to litigation on and after Election Day, which the Campaign Legal Center notes will be paid for through a combination of candidate funds and special recount accounts set up through the RNC and DNC. Republicans have spent $20 million on legal expenses so far through their recount account, which can spend money before the election getting ready for post-election challenges, while the DNC has spent $27.6 million on legal expenses in total so far this election cycle, but has not specified any as coming from their recount fund. An RNC official told ABC News the party is ready to deploy 5,000 volunteer attorneys and has staff already on the ground in 18 states to handle quote-unquote election integrity efforts. The Harris campaign has corralled a central team of lawyers to handle its post-election legal efforts, telling ABC the Biden and Harris campaigns have been strategizing on their post-election litigation strategy since Biden announced his re-election in 2023. The anticipated onslaught of litigation following the November election comes after Trump set a precedent of widespread post-election lawsuits in 2020. The Trump campaign and its allies filed at least 60 lawsuits challenging the election results in battleground states, losing all but one minor lawsuit that only affected a small number of votes. The litigation strategy was part of a broader attempt by Trump and his allies to overturn the election results, which was unsuccessful and led to Trump and many of his associates getting indicted in state and federal court. For more on this story, check out Alison Durkee's article in the link in the description.